Today we're going to be taking a look at the complete rebuild process for the 5000 wind A-frame style trailer jack. This is going to be a side wind with metal cap. This is part number TJA-5000S-B. Now there are going to be three kits that you'll need to completely rebuild it or you can use just whichever one you need. Starting at the bottom here in the base we've got a bearing. This is part number TJD-7000-BR. That's our friction reducer. So this is going to sit on the screw. You can see how the inside turns independently from the outside. So that sits down on our screw. And as that rotates, it keeps the friction from building up on the top plate. Next, we're going to have the gear kit. Now we're going to have the side gear, the bottom gear, the handle pin, the base gear pin, and the keeper ring. These are part numbers TJD-7000S-GR. And then if you just need to do a handle replacement, we also have that available. This is TJD-7000S-HD. That's going to be the handle, the end of the handle, or the actual part you'll hang on to, and the replacement pin. Let's get these moved over to the side for now. Since this is a brand new jack, we're going to take apart and rebuild it with the same components. So we won't be messing with those too much anymore, but let's go over the process. Again, we're looking at a metal cap jack here that's side wind. And we're going to have two bolts that pass through, and those are what keep that top cap in place. Now, if you'll grab a 10 millimeter socket, you'll be able to get these backed off. Now you're going to be reusing these, so you want to set them aside. You can just kind of tap those out. And then we'll pull straight up on that cap. Now we'll want to do what we can to get all the old grease out of here. It's a good idea to have some grease on hand, that way you can put it back in there when you're done. Just use a regular multi-purpose grease is fine doesn't necessarily have to be high temp or anything like that. All right, now with most of that cleared out, you're going to be able to see the small keeper ring that helps to hold our pin in place. It's going to be right here. You see it'll kind of rotate around there and spin a little bit. What we want to do is just work one side of it off right where it ends up and then towards the outside of the jack. See how it's now from not in that groove anymore it's sitting behind it and then you just work that all the way around and it should come off for you just like that now we'll want to drive that pin you can see there's that small semicircle right here in the gear we need to drive that pin out toward the bottom we're going to use a 5 30 second punch you could go with one a little bit bigger, but you don't want to go too much bigger. You'll see your handle at the point there will become free. You'll know you've got that pin driven all the way out. That's going to be the one that has the little grooves in it all the way around. At that point, we can slide our handle down. As we slide this out, this is going to be just a spacer that's there. So we'll pull that out, continue to pull the handle out, then we'll have our gear. You can see the little snap rings come with it there. Set those aside. And then you've got your washer. Now this doesn't normally experience any wear, the same as the bushings that we have in each side here. These are just flange bushings. So we shouldn't have to worry about replacement of those. Now we can grab our drive gear there in the bottom. We'll lift that up and off. And you'll see this little pin here. It just floats side to side. Pull that out. And you'll see we've got a washer there that we'll want to remove. Hang on to that. We're going to be reusing it. Just like our bushings here, here. And there's another flange bushing that sits right here on the bottom. We're going to be reusing those, so we'll hang on to them. Simply by lifting up on it, there we'll find our bearing. And you can see how our jack works here. Essentially, as we raise 
The jack is just going to extend this screw that's inside. Now these screws are nice and heavy duty. Very, very difficult to damage these. So that's why these rebuild kits are so popular. You can just rebuild what you've already got. You don't have to worry about completely buying a new jack. So you'll take your new bearing, you take your old bearing off, you want to take your new bearing, drop that down on top, and at that point you just line the little indention in the side of the outer tube up with the long channel that's on the inner tube there. We'll slide those back together, and we'll see that screw come out of the top there. Now we want to use our bushing with the largest opening, you'll see there's a little flat spot there. Just match that up with the flat spot that's in the jack itself. We can slide that in position. We'll place the larger of the two washers we removed over. And we we'll want to slide that through the screw. We want to have equal amount sticking over on each side. And now we'll slide the larger gear. You can see that right there where that pin wants to go. We'll slide that in just like that the two flange bushings that go on the outside. Again, they're gonna have a little flat spot there just to help with positioning. Now we wanna take our gear and the keeper ring and we wanna get it slid into place. I like to start that keeper ring while I've got it out here. It seems to help a little bit. You just wanna make sure you don't start it to where it blocks that hole. Then once we get into position, hopefully we can just pull that edge down and around. As we bring our handle through, we want to replace the washer that we removed earlier. And we'll get our gear into position and slide our handle through that. And it's also going to go through that spacer we removed. Once we have that all the way through, we'll be able to align the hole in our handle with the half round hole that's in our gear. That's where we'll put our pin back in. We'll want to drive it in at least as deep as what that groove is. That way our pin can sit around it, or our clip can sit around it. It's about equal on both sides. Now it's time to that little spring clip up into position. All right, that's a rebuilt jack. Now we want to put some grease back in there. Now we'll bring our cap. It's going to slide down and over the top. Get our carriage bolt slid back through. Now they've got a square part just below the head. We want to be sure that goes in the square side. Rotate that and put our nuts back on. All right, right back, just check our operation. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And you can see periodically we'll want to use that grease cert. Just insert some grease in there to keep everything running that way. It's really all there is to it. Just a few quick steps and a few parts, and instead of having to rebuy a completely new jack, we can just replace those components and save ourselves some money. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.